Hi everybody and welcome to this morning's kind of impromptu live feed. Uh, a lot of times when I do these live feeds I will announce on Facebook or on YouTube. I'll put out a message saying we're going to go live in an hour, we're going to go live tonight. I am sitting here at the store and uh, waiting for it to get very busy today. I know it's going to be very busy and I'll tell you why it's going to be busy in a little bit. Uh, but I thought I'd just kind of go on and say hi to any of you who decide to join and and uh, join the, the live chat today. Uh, also, I am uh, sampling one of my hot chocolates. I've been avoiding sugar and stuff, but this little hot chocolate is uh, going to be my vice for today. Um, I chose, I'm going to show you the, uh, <laughs> if you don't, Germany says guten tag. If you don't like bread and you live in Germany, does that mean you're uh, gluten tog? Is that what you say? <laughs> That'll be the next name of my, my new restaurant. It'll be gluten tog, it'll be a, a gluten-free place. Okay, these were the varieties I had to choose from today. Salted caramel, snickerdoodle, blue, hot chocolate, creme brulee, Irish cream, Rocky Road, peanut butter, cookies and cream, uh, green hot chocolate, there's s'mores, cherry, white caramel, and French vanilla. I ended up going with the salted caramel this morning, so I'm going to be trying that. See, there it is. That's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so uh, why is it going to be busy today? Uh, it is Friday, which is usually a busy day around the shop. Uh, I'm kind of only working for the first hour or so here because I'm, I'm worried about what I did to my poor friend Bill. Um, Bill has been helping me out at the shop here, German Bill. I should say Bavarian Bill. <laughs> uh, so Bill has been helping me out uh, since Sean left. Sean went off to pursue his career in music. Bill has stepped up and he's been helping me out. Um, but he doesn't, I, I don't like to dump a whole bunch of extra work on Bill when I don't have to. And what I did, uh, and you'll see a video, there's gonna be a uh, video coming out in uh, about an hour's time uh, explaining what the heck happened yesterday. I bought an awful lot of stuff uh, and <laughs> it's all sitting right there. I bought, uh, we ended up, we thought, the people I bought it from thought, uh, oh hello Deborah, nice to see you. Um, the people I bought it from thought that there was five or six thousand in there. Well I counted probably closer to eight thousand cars in there. It's a lot of Hot Wheel cars. Um, and I thought, what the heck am I going to do with all this stuff? You know, like we don't have room for it on the other side, which is why it's in the night. I consider this the fancy side, the nice side, the new addition. Um, and we brought it in yesterday. That was an ordeal. Let me tell you, but I, I advertised on Facebook and uh, Facebook marketplace. And I advertised on uh, Kijiji, which is like a local buy and sell place for us that I had these 8,000 Hot Wheels come in and we're gonna put them out for two bucks a piece and I'm gonna sell as many as I can. And when I woke up this morning, so I, I do the ads last night, eight o'clock, nine o'clock last night, I'm doing up the ads, I'm posting saying, hey, come on down, here's my store, I've got all this, uh, all these cars in. And uh, Diecast, Dave Nitrous Diecast, who's on right now, um, he was there. I'm gonna try my first sip of salted caramel. Yes, it is a good hot chocolate. <laughs> um, Dave was in here last night. He was helping me get the store cleaned up with Bill. We stayed about an hour after close. Thank you for that, Dave, and thank you, Bill. Bill might not be watching the live feed right now because he's probably on his way to work. Uh, but when I woke up this morning, I realized that I'd unleashed the wild beasts from the gate because I had probably a thousand messages in my inbox about people wanting to come and buy these cars. I guess I really underestimated the popularity of the little Hot Wheel cars. So here's what I'm worried about. I'm worried that today is gonna to be absolutely bonkers. I feel that there's very few places you can use the word bonkers and uh, for it to make sense, but today I have a feeling it's gonna be bonkers. So I'm here, I'm sipping on this hot chocolate and I'm waiting because I have a feeling that there's gonna be just troves of people coming in over the next couple of days clearing out this bin. It all looks nice and respectful over there now, um, but I tell you what, it's gonna get crazy pretty soon. But I was having fun kind of going through these yesterday. I, I had a look and there's a lot of really good and neat cars in there. One lady, and I've had a lot of people writing me and emailing me 
and they say, uh, oh, do you have like a 2007 Honda in there? I'm like, I don't know. There's 8,000 cars. You're going to have to come dig and look for it. They're like, well, can you look for it? And I'm like, that would take me probably an hour to dig through all that stuff to see if there's a car in there. I'm selling them from $2 each. So when you kind of average out the fact that let's say I'm going to make, you know, a, a dollar profit, my time is worth more than a dollar an hour. But people don't see it like that, I guess. But one lady did say, and I thought I was being witty. She said, uh, 20 years ago or so, she gave her son a uh, Hot Wheel car that looked like a toilet seat when he was potty training. And she said, do you have one? And I responded back and said, I'm not sure, but I bet your son has really great aim because Hot Wheels are tiny. It's a little, tiny little toilet. I thought it was being witty anyway. Um, as I walk into the store this morning and I just kind of look, what is right on the top of the pile? The toilet seat car. <laughs> it's a hot rod that is a toilet and I had the darn thing she was looking for right on the top. So I did separate that out and I let her know that I had it. So hopefully she'll come in and pick it up. But that is the, uh, unless it's on the top and I can just see it, I don't want to dig through all that right now. That's a huge pile of stuff. Um, I'll, I'll show you in fact what, I, what I'm dealing with here. There was a whole, there's a whole thing. I'm posting a video on what my day was like yesterday. That's going to be coming out in about an hour's time and you'll see what happened. This huge pile of Hot Wheels was a huge conundrum for me yesterday. Um, but you'll see. Look at this pile of it. This is like if Scrooge McDuck, instead of having all of his coins in his vault to roll around in and had Hot Wheels, that is what they would have. This goes down about five feet. Look, it's like a ball pit of Hot Wheels. I can't even re I couldn't even reach the bottom because it goes way, way down there. <laughs> That's how far down it goes. Um, we're, we're talking some serious, serious stuff, but there's a lot of neat cars in here. And for, uh, for $2 a piece, I know I'm going to sell a pile. In fact, I've already had people offering to buy the whole collection off of me which would be absolutely great, but I don't want to disappoint all these people that are coming in from all over the place over, over this week and next to come and buy this stuff. So uh, I'm going to leave it here and people can just have the same thrill that I get when I'm digging for treasure and they can come and dig through this and look for whatever their treasures are. And I know that some of these are probably worth like, some are worth a dollar each, some are worth $20 each. Do I want to spend the time to go through and figure out which are the, all the good ones? Unless it was an obvious, like super duper good one, I left them all in here. So uh, people are gonna have a, a heyday going through all this stuff today, I'm sure. So I moved the table out of the way so that uh, the retailer in me, this is how the retailer in me thinks. Normally in a situation like this, if you're running a retail store, you would pull the bin out so people can shop it uh, 360. But it's really heavy. <laughs> I don't wanna scratch up my floor trying to drag it. Um, so I have at least three sides people can shop from. I've got this table set up here, which I'm going to empty off so people can sort on it. It is going to be just a hot mess of a thing in here. But, uh, I was thinking about this. It's almost better. Even though I've had people write me and say that they want to buy the whole thing sight unseen, um, right before Christmas, that is a huge draw. If you think about all the other stuff I sell in my store, we have now a thousand people probably that are interested in learning about my store, come and see what there is, and they'll get to know that I exist here. And maybe they'll probably bring spouses or kids or whatever, and there's something for everybody in the store. So um, even though there's gonna be some profit on the Hot Wheels, uh, the, the better thing is it's turned out to be a great advertising opportunity for my store to bring people in. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure it's gonna be a busy day. Um, Bill's gonna be showing up here in probably about a half an hour and um, hopefully he decides to stay working for me after this weekend, because I have a feeling it's gonna be a little nuts. That's why I'm here, I'm here to help today. <laughs> I'm here to help. Um, so hopefully you guys are all doing well out there. Uh, I'm gonna read some of the questions while I'm sipping on my hot chocolate here. Mm. It is not snowing today. Somebody's asking if it's snowing. It's not snowing right now. It's actually, it's so cold outside. It's one of those days, hang on. Maybe I'll do a, the science experiment that I've done before with you guys. How cold is it? I'll show you how cold it is. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm going to fill this cup right in front of me. I'm going to fill it with hot water. 
It is, uh, I think they said minus 37 degrees outside. Um, which means that even the clouds can't live. <laughs> you know, on the really cold days, it's generally quite bright and blue out. So look at that. That means, uh, well, there's sun dogs out today too. Hang on, I'm gonna, let me unlock this door to demonstrate. I'm gonna go back now where the hot water should have come fresh off yield Keurig. Watch, if this, if this doesn't work, this will be my fail of the morning. I better not, I better not do this with somebody walking directly by. Nothing like a big face full of scalding hot water. Okay, cup full of water. I'm gonna throw it in the air. It just turns into steam. It doesn't even hit the ground. It is so hot that a cup of boiling hot water can't even hit the ground when you throw it in the air. I'm hoping, just have to keep that one aside hoping that we get some warmer weather, but this is some of the coldest weather we, that we've had this year so far. Um, and every time it's like minus 40 degrees is the time that I get called to go to somebody's house. Again, probably because they don't want to dig through their houses either. And we're, we're waiting to see um, in about a week or two, I'm going out to look at another hoarder house and we'll see uh, what we're up against. But I'm proud to say that my old truck started right up minus uh close to minus 40 degrees uh fahrenheit or celsius here right now and um you know the truck started right up uh no um it minus 40 celsius is the same as fahrenheit that's minus 40 fahrenheit <laughs> you know is what we're i think we're up against today here um so i would like to have some of your weather um oh somebody says what's a sun dog uh, it's, it's not like a, uh, <laughs> it's not the son of a dog. It's not like Oggy Doggy. <laughs> oh, Hanna-Barbera. No, it's, uh, when the sun, and I, I don't, I can't see the sun directly where I am right now, but the sun is so bright. Actually, maybe I can see it out the back door. I'm going to, I'm going to flip this around. Maybe we can see it out the back door here. If you've not seen a sun dog before, hopefully I don't lose the reception coming to the backyard here. See if you can see it. Uh, nope, can't see it where I am. Darn. Ooh, it's slippery. A sun dog is uh, when the air is so cold that the light reflects off of those uh, particles in the air, and you get the the sun shining, but on either side it looks like almost um, brackets, you know, of extra sun. It looks like there's uh, three or four, three or five suns in the sky, depending on how many sun dogs you get. It's like these bright flashes on either side of the sun from the reflection. Really, really cool. We had that this morning. We had the sun in the middle and then the, the, these bright dots kind of on either side. And then there was another set of bright dots. So we had double sun dogs. It sounds like a bad dare from a Christmas story. I double sun dog dare ya. Oh yeah? You don't want to be sticking your tongue to any uh, metal pole in this kind of weather, I can tell you that much. Uh, you'd have to have your uh, salted caramel hot chocolate nearby to get your tongue off. Hmm. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm gonna try and keep up with the comments here as they're coming through. Pouring rain in Oklahoma. Uh, minus 44 Celsius is minus 47 Fahrenheit, somebody just said. Um, how are the roads this morning, says Dave. The roads were fine, actually. Um, but I'm very used to driving. I shouldn't say that. I say I'm used to driving in cold weather, which I am. But no matter how confident you feel driving in cold weather, you can get overconfident. And I used to be overconfident until I rolled my car and uh, had a near-death experience. Um, don't know how I survived that actually. And, uh, so anyway, after, after I really totaled my car <laughs> on the ice one year, I, uh, have been much more careful driving in winter. Uh, super S Pat, uh, Patricia sent $10. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think this weekend will be busy, uh, for it being so close to Christmas? Yeah, I think it'll be busy. I think people are still out there buying. Um, I don't know about you guys. Um, 
but we're still kind of getting the last little bit of our Christmas presents put together. And this is the last weekend, the big push. This is the last week coming up before Christmas. Um, December 23rd, uh, we're going to be closed the 23rd, 24th, 25th, because um, I think it's important to have some family time. And we're not an essential business, uh, you know, in the sense that we're not selling your turkeys and gravy and stuffing and all that stuff. Um, you know, the turkey gravy stuffing store. Oh, Super S. Patrick. I see. Okay, I see. I got the name wrong. Um, so we're closing down for a few days before Christmas so that Bill can have time with his family and I can have time with mine and we don't have to worry about running the store. Um, are we allowed to use studded snow tires here? Um, yes, but the other tires get jealous. Um, Joanne says it's cold in her house. Uh, let's see. E. Nixon says sun dogs only happen when the air is so cold it freezes any humidity within it. It's actually a form of sublimation. The frozen air refracts the light from the sun to create the dots surrounding it. Well, that's what we're up against today. It froze the particles in the air. I was close. <laughs> I didn't use all the same uh, words. I keep, as we're talking right now, I'm also getting messages popping up from my uh, ads that I put up for this Hot Wheels sale that's going on. And people are just asking me cra crazy questions like, can you see if there's any 69 Camaros in there? I'm like, yeah, there's probably going to be 69 Camaros in there. Am I going to look? No, I'm not. Come and look. You can come and dig. You're going to have fun. Um, I sure hope that people are going to uh, enjoy themselves today. I know that if I was still a Hot Wheels collector, <laughs> I sold my collection. Um, can we buy any? Oh, uh, Jacob, sorry. I have to answer a super chat. Jacob says, can we buy any of your goods online? Um, there are certain things. We do ship items uh, but we cater to when we sell online we typically try and do like big auctions now and again so that it, folks watching at home have a chance to buy something from the store in the last little while, a while i've been doing themed auctions so antiques and then we, we're doing the record sale which is ending on saturday or on the 18th uh, and then i have a sports cards collector auction happening in january january 22nd um, but other than that, if you see something in a video, sure, I will ship stuff, but a lot of things that we carry in the store, um, that are food goods cannot be shipped outside of Canada because for whatever reason, um, well, these are locally made items, kind of like a farmer's market, a lot of them. And so they don't have the same, you know, they haven't been, uh, I guess approved by the U S government for import into the United States. Cause these companies are small. They probably haven't thought about having an international market. So when the stuff gets to the border, the border agents go, hmm, free nachos, <laughs> and they take all our stuff. And that happened uh, last Christmas. One of our viewers at home, lovely man, phoned me, bought all of his Christmas presents uh, from us, honey and tea and jam and all that kind of stuff, and we sent him a big box. And when he got it, it said it had the, the tape on it from uh, Open by US Border. They took all of his Christmas presents and kept them and sent him just the socks. So I didn't get any money back from it's not like the U.S. border people sent me my money for this stuff. They just took the stuff, um, and I had to refund the guy out of pocket. So uh, he didn't get his Christmas presents, and I didn't get the sales. So it was a whole thing. But to answer your question, um, I try. I, I can't ship the food stuff, but some of the other things I will ship. But um, this time of year, we're focused on auctions and selling in store. I don't know if that answers your question for you. Uh, somebody says it's a balmy plus fifteen in Mississauga, Ontario. Well, lucky you. Lucky you. Uh, Preston Trim says, how is the house going, Alex? I don't really know. I'm going there to shoot an update video. I'm hoping after, I'm gonna stick around the store for maybe an hour or so, and I can already see. I The collectors are arriving. It's, we don't open for like 25 minutes and already there's people uh, waiting. Well, they're not outside, they're in their cars, but I can see they're showing up. Um, Mandy Mercer uh, joined our uh, our YouTube family club. That's cool, thank you. Um, oh, uh, Beverly says, I'm wondering what Boxing Day is all about. Uh, okay, in, um, I believe, the United Kingdom and in Canada, uh, instead of Black Friday in Canada, we would do Boxing Day traditionally. So as a kid here in Canada, we would never have Black Friday sales. The reason being, our Thanksgiving is a completely different time than your Thanksgiving. Um, and from a retail perspective, it kind of, to me, this is what makes sense. Black Friday sales don't make a whole lot of sense to me because your largest demand is right before Christmas, meaning you can finally get your best margin, you can get your best dollar and make your most profit around the holiday season. But at some point, somebody had the great idea um, 
to have a big sale right after Thanksgiving. They call it Black Friday because you're getting back in the black. We never did that traditionally here. This is what it was like for us. Everything was full price right up until Christmas. And then on Boxing Day or several days after, Canadians would get a huge discount because the retailers go, well, we didn't sell the stuff we thought we were going to sell. We made our profit where we made our profit. Now it's time just to box things up and ship it out for cheap. And um, Boxing Day was the day that everybody would get big discounts. The nice thing about that was that if you got gift cards or if you got money from grandma and grandpa or something like that, you would take that money you got on Christmas and you could go and get all those toys you wanted for like 50% off or whatever on during Boxing Week or Boxing Day. Um, so uh, it's kind of shifted now. So basically, um, as we started getting more US retailers in Canada, Boxing Day is still here because it's tradition in Canada, but the sales start around Black Friday. So almost the whole Christmas season, everything is just a little bit cheaper. And you don't, the, the deals I feel are diluted a little bit. Um, I don't know. We don't, we actually don't do a lot of sales in our own store. Um, I worked for Apple for four years as a senior manager. And the one big away I had from Apple is that they don't really do discounts. And the reason for that is that it devalues your current product. Um, but also, uh, it kind of cheapens the store a little bit too. Um, when you have stuff on sale, like if I were to suddenly do like everything half price for one or two days, I'd move a lot of inventory, but then people might say, well, this was just half price yesterday. Can you give this to me half price today? When you're talking antiques, it means that you mentally checked out on that item and people know that you had it lower and you're pricing it back up again. Um, for me, what I do is I leave the prices as they are in the store. It's kind of that, like that Costco sort of mentality. If you've ever been at a Costco and you're like, huh, that's pretty cool. I should buy that you know, sack of almonds for a buck or whatever it is. And then you go back for it and it's gone and they'll never bring it back again. It's that you got to buy it when you see it. There were people that were in my store last week that were thinking about buying a, a sports card or something. Those are still going to be available for them, but I pulled everything out of that showcase and it's all going to auction because we need to, uh, um, we need to basically get that stuff uh, off and out the door. I'm just looking to see, it looks like the crowds are forming. The crowds are forming. It's going to be fun today. Uh, somebody said, I for one am disappointed actual boxing isn't going on. Well, boxing does take place sometimes, I guess, if you get trampled or if you um, are really after a big sale and you are hoping that um, uh, that you're going to do well. It's funny. So I'm, I'm distracted right now as I'm looking out the window and there's a fellow who's here and I believe he's here for these Hot Wheel cars and he's brought several empty bins. Um, I can't show people with them without having their permission to be on camera, but um, I can see that they've got like big empty bins. So I'm thinking they're planning on buying an awful lot of stuff today. You know, and for people that are uh, resellers, there is uh, an awful lot of uh, opportunity for people who are flea market dealers or resellers to buy it at this type of price point, even at two bucks each and resell. So um, Bluebird says, are you going to need extra staff today? I don't know. I think I'm going to be the extra staff today. Um, but that said, I have to start getting the store ready, mopped and cleaned and ready because I think it's going to be a busy one, guys. So uh, I am going to uh, get myself geared up. Hopefully it's a uh, successful day. Oh, uh, the John Lennon tapes have not sold yet. I'm just uh, talking to some auction houses to see where it should go. Uh, or if a person is interested in the Lennon tapes, you can reach out to me and we would sell privately as well. Um, guys, I hope you have a wonderful morning. There's a new video uploading any minute now, and uh, boy, oh boy, wish me luck. It's going to be a crazy one today. We'll see you guys soon, and bye for now.